Well, we heard a lot about Las Tyrannas coming in, but we didn't expect to find just this when we arrived. We stepped in somehow to kind of France mixed with Italy and the Caribbean. And the Dominican Republic, of course, because that <laughs> is where we are. So it's got a very, very interesting vibe here. We're excited to spend the day exploring the town. In the last video, we were checking out some pretty amazing beaches, but today is time to finally explore the town itself. So we've just stepped onto the boardwalk area. It's right on the water. Later in the video, we're gonna properly explore like the waterfront area, but the town itself is really, really cute, so we're gonna do that in a second. By the way, if you happen to be new around here, my name is Anna, Trevor is currently behind the camera, we are the Delightful Travelers. This is the part where we tell you to hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the like button. The like button helps get the video out there. By the way, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We need your help, so if you click that button, it would be greatly appreciated. Let's go take a look at what Anna's looking at. Uh, you sure you don't want to go to the beach first? <laughs> uh, it's so tempting, but we I really want to see the town. It's super cute. I want to show it to you guys. Also, I'm kind of hungry. So we've literally just walked off the beach. We're kind of on a sidewalk, but we're also kind of walking through the middle of a really beautiful outdoor restaurant. We walked by this place the other day and it was absolutely packed. Look at the decor. Yeah, I wonder if it's one of the better restaurants here. I think it might be. So if you're wondering why there's nobody there at the moment, I'm pretty sure that's a dinner place and it opens a little later, but look at the place that's right behind us right now. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of the layout of the land in this area, there's basically like a few different complexes. They all have their different style. They all have cute little restaurants and cafes and some boutiques as well. So what I like about the building we're walking under right now is it has a cool colonial Caribbean look and feel. But what's very interesting is there's some very modern buildings around. One specifically we're going to show you in a little while and you're going to be a little bit shocked by it. One of the things that's very unique to this little town is people get around on ATVs and motorbikes. The motorbikes happen all throughout the DR. Of course there's cars here as well, but the ATVs are kind of unique. And also, speaking of what's unique, do you see what's behind me back here? That is a cruise ship building. It's a building in the shape of a cruise ship, but there's not just one, there's two of these things. So this is called Porto Plaza. It's a shopping mall, shopping plaza, slash a hotel. I've never seen anything like it. It really is essentially two buildings that look exactly like cruise ships. They kind of like go like this, and then in the center, where we are right now, you have like a, a, a courtyard, I guess, with lots of shops and cafes. So we're sitting here now in this very European style courtyard. Honestly, am I in the Caribbean or am I somewhere in France or Italy? I have a cappuccino. We stopped into a creperie. It's called Creperie Le Blanc. We ordered some snacks, some French snacks are on the way. And I got a cappuccino. So I got a little bit of Italy as well. Quick little try. It's loud here. I love this. Mm. Ah oh man, cappuccinos. I always love them when I get them. Since we are at a creperie, I went, obviously, for a crepe. This is a breakfast crepe. Look at that egg on top. It's got cheese and bacon, and of course, the crepe on the outside. Oh, look at that yolk. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. Very, very simple. You obviously have the crepe on the outside. It's not a ton of flavor, but just got a nice texture to it. That bacon adds some really nice saltiness to it. And I don't know what the cheese is, but it's really, really lovely. It's a perfectly balanced, delicious breakfast. All right, so I ended up getting a croque monsieur. I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought I ordered a croque madame. I think a croque madame is usually kind of flat and not in the sandwich format, but this looks good. Look at that bread. You can see some ham in there. There's some cheese in there. And let's just go for it. <laughs> oh my, that's just so good. So this is as simple as it gets for a classic dish from France. On here is cheese, delicious cheese I should say, and some ham, and the bread just rounds it out. That's pretty much all there is to it. This takes me straight back to Europe, more specifically straight back to France, some place we want to go back to when it's a little safer to travel again, but did not expect to find something like this here in Las Terrenas. Again, you guys told us it was kind of very European, but I straight up did not expect this. So that was absolutely delicious. I don't know the last time we were in a French 
crepe parade, but we have to do that more often. There is one thing we have to show you behind me is a genuine Italian market. So if we lived in this town, we would be shopping at this store all the time. The selection of Italian goods is out of this world. Their wine selection is incredible. There are plenty of different meats as well. There is pasta, loads of different sauces. I saw gelato, I may have even saw beer. I can't get over the amount of Italian items in this store. So we've just found this cute little bridge. It's right in the middle of town, very close to the cruise ship building. There's also a dog here that seems to be the bridge control. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, he's like a, what is it, trolls that patrol bridges and like charge money to get across? Yeah. Maybe he's secretly a troll. <laughs> he's very friendly, but I'm sure one thing you guys might be wondering in general is like Cabarete versus Las Tyrannas. Maybe we will do a video on that in full detail, but in general, the food has been better here. Food has been amazing and maybe a little bit more of a variety, I would say. Yeah, yeah like definitely. the first night we had very, very good Mexican food. That was, oh. we really love Mexican food. You guys for those know of you that. guys that don't know that. <laughs> we had really, really great pizza. I had an excellent risotto one night. Oh, and we yeah. had a, a curry one night that Ooh, was out the of this curry world. Was so, good. so, so far, the options, there's just more options. And this is new to us, so it's just at the moment, we like it a little better for food. So, the town itself is really colorful, it's very vibrant, lots of cute little buildings as well, but the traffic is something else. Yeah, it's, it's hard to explain the layout of the town, but basically you have the ocean and like a street going this way, and then you have a few streets that go lengthwise very, very far the other way. And there's yeah. lots of stuff up that way. It's kind of mainly like two main roads each one way, and the traffic is crazy. <laughs> so yesterday we uh, were coming back from uh, the beach, which is the previous video mm -hmm. that you watched, and it took us about 20 minutes just to get through the town, like going very slow. Yeah, which wasn't that far to go, but <laughs> so, it took a while. Just keep that in mind if you're coming here, but once you get down to kind of the main section, like by the beach, it's not as bad. The traffic mm -hmm. kind of thins out a little bit. So as you start to walk in the direction away from the water, which is what we're doing right now, you're gonna find as you go farther and farther and get more progressively into the town, start to feel a little bit more like you're in the actual Dominican Republic and not in Italy or France. It's funny, we've driven by this place a few times and we were always like, oh, in a video we have to stop by here because it looks so cute. Of course, it happens to be Sunday that we are filming and everything's closed, but you can kind of tell there's like some cute boutiques in this little strip right here. So we thought we'd try to find another uh, boutique here to go in, but this one's closed as well. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I hadn't really thought about the fact that we're filming on Sunday and of course at home in Canada everything's open on Sunday. But I waited to go shopping because I did want to do some shopping. Like, while we're here in Las Verena, yeah. it's our last day. I guess we're going to have to come close. back at some point. Yeah, we're going to have to. No choice now. So over on the east side of town, there is a beautiful walkway right on the beach. Look at the color of this water. I know, and it's Sunday, like we already said, which is beach day here in the Dominican Republic. Everybody flocks to the beaches on Sunday. And it's quiet here. So in our last video, we took this road about 20 minutes to get to that amazing beach. And here we are, and it's still all the same beach really, isn't it? It's pretty amazing. I, never, I, I had no idea. You really don't know the layout of a place until you actually visit it. You know, you can look on the map as much as you want, but you don't really get a feel for it until you're there in person. And it's so interesting because yesterday we did go visit beaches and we drove along this eastern coastal road, I guess it is and it's beaches the entire way there. So the further you walk up the beach, the cuter the places get. Also, there are some restaurants right on, well, pretty much right on the beach, looking over the beach, which is where we are now. We've stopped and got a drink. So this is an Aperol Spritz. Because of the, I guess, Italian influence here, you can find these at pretty much every single restaurant. How pretty is that, by the way? So funny enough, I have never ordered an Aperol Spritz because in my head I somehow confused a Negroni and Aperol Spritz, maybe because they're similar in color. Turns out it's Campari that I don't like and that's not in this. So Trevor ordered one a couple weeks ago and I was like, oh, I don't want to try that. But I did and realized it's completely delicious and now it's maybe my new favorite drink. So while we have these yummy Aperol Spritzes, Spritzers, I'm not sure what the plural is, but you know what I'm saying. I'm going to try to give you a couple quick facts here about Los Tyrannos and where we are. First of all, it's on the eastern side of the Dominican Republic on a peninsula called Samana. It's absolutely beautiful over here. The town itself was formed in 1946. The way that happened is apparently there were Dominicans outside of Santo Domingo. The president at the time took those farmers and fishermen and relocated them 
here basically and that's how it became a fishing village. Also according to Wikipedia and I think this is pretty old, the population is apparently around 13,000 people. But if anybody knows why Europeans started flocking here and when that happened, let us know in a comment below because I tried to research that online and I couldn't find anything about it but this is like a, a little European Mecca in the middle of the Dominican Republic and I have no idea why. Well, one thing, there's not a lot of Canadians and Americans here. No, there's a few but in general not much English, uh, lots of French, lots of Italian, obviously lots of Spanish. All right, now we're back a little closer to town and you can see all these fishing boats. So we mentioned it's a fishing village and this is where they park them all, I guess. Yeah, it's also at nighttime though. They come out with these like, I want to say giant nets that are also like scoops and they come right along the edge of the water. It's really interesting to watch. Yeah, yeah when we first saw them, we didn't have a clue what was happening because yeah. it's all lit up out here, but it's neat. Yeah. So you can see all these restaurants behind us. This is kind of the more local area. Also, this is the only spot where there's restaurants right on the beach, kind yes. of like Cabaret. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is one spot that reminds me of just a little bit of Cabaret in the sense that there are these restaurants that have tables directly on the beach. Yeah, so right now we are on our way back to our place. My feet, our feet are killing us. We did a lot of walking today. <laughs> But we're gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys got this far and you're wondering who we are, Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. If you're new, it's nice to see you. If you're not new, you know the drill. It's nice to see each and every one of you. Glenn, click on the like button, leave us a comment, heck, share the video as well. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You're still on the road to 100K. It's a slow go, but it's <laughs> gonna happen hopefully in the next couple of months. So yeah. please help us out. <laughs> And I also think a lot of you are wondering, uh, you know, do we like Los Tyrannos more than Cabarete? <laughs> Perhaps we will film a video comparing the two in the future. As we said earlier, we we're on our way back to Cabarete after this, but that might not be where we pick you up. Yeah, we're not quite sure yet. So uh, I think we mentioned before that we moved out of our last apartment. We're moving into a new apartment. We only have a few days there, and then we're going to another location with some Ooh. friends. And this location is probably huh. one of the second most requested. requested slash recommended places and also if you're not familiar with the Dominican Republic and sort of <laughs> the geography of it I think you're gonna be a little bit shocked to tell you the truth I still don't even believe this exists in the country so all you Dominicans feel free to guess yeah. where we're going below but all, all the rest of you you'll see soon enough because it's I think it's gonna blow your mind it has nothing to do with beaches is that a big hint Nothing yes, to do is, with beaches. That is actually a really good hint. <laughs> so let's go back to Las Tyrannas for a second. I think there is a very good chance we will be back in yes. this town again. Also, we're going to be exploring in the future and in the months to come some of the other areas here in Samana. Oh, uh, yeah. Samana in general, we know there's Las Galeras, so many things. Alimon, it's all on the list, but for now, we're going to let you guys go. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. From Las Tyrannas, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.